Azalea Banks. Yeah. Uh, Beehive, y'all better get her. Cause she she called Beyonce's uh, wig dry. Yeah, she, yeah that, she that comment said, was a little excessive. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what she said. You got what she said. Get it right. She said, <laughs> you, the critics are not just going to accept an ugly blonde yes. wig and bullying from Jay-Z. Oh. I don't think, but hold on, y'all know I like to play devil's advocate. How you gonna call J Beyonce ugly? She said the Correct. wig was ugly. That was excessive. But I, this is the, I don't think it's, necessarily racism. I think that it's, because Azealia did say you can't just slap R&B runs over a country beat and say it's country. And she's right. If Taylor Swift tried to jump into R&B, we'd be pissed off about it. So I feel like it kind of, and I see the yeah. side eyes over it. I see them. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's the same thing. Like, you don't think so, Candice? No. <laughs> Why? If Taylor Swift tried to drop an R&B album, we would not want to play it on stations. If it know sounds that. good, it sounds I good. I would need to hear it. If it sounds it. good. <laughs> If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it's good, it's good. You gotta give credit where credit is due. I just don't think they're even giving her the chance. Like Michelle, K. Michelle, K. Michelle. turned over to country music. She's doing exceptionally well. Darius Rucker, he's a black man doing mm -hmm. music. So you have so many black people right. that are coming out now and doing country and doing it well. Mm -hmm. Like she has to be given the chance. She's dominated everything that she's touched yeah. across the board. The only thing left for her to do is Rock and roll, but she'll she'll get that she right too. <laughs> and hey, I'm I, ready. I'm ready <laughs> too. Let's see, I'm curious to see how it's gonna do. But guys, that's our show for today. It goes so fast. We gotta get out of here, but you know where to find us. Same time, same place. Bye, y'all. See you later.